Good afternoon, stoners and stonettes. Today we are going to be talking about the wild and crazy situation we have here in our beautiful nation's capital, Washington, D.C. And as far as most people know, the federal government says no, no, no to marijuana, but the people of D.C. know better. We say... Yeah, some good shit right there. Thank you. That's what we say. That's how we like it in Washington, D.C., and the federal government needs to stay out of our way. But they ain't going to do that. Washington, D.C. is always going to be thrown under a bus whenever it, whenever it can be, whenever it's political, you know, for it to happen. But that's okay. Because right now, we have a system that sort of works. It could work a lot better. Hopefully it will work better, but it sort of works. You can have any medical problem and, and get a card. Great. Uh, then, you know, you can walk into a dispensary and buy stuff on the shelf. And you will not believe how you will feel the first time you do it. I, I, I mean, it's like Willy Wonka going into the candy factory for the first time. That is the feeling you will get. And not even just from a recreational perspective. It's like, from, from just a medical perspective. Like, oh my god, I can have this kind and this kind. And it, tastes, it could taste like this and like this. And I don't even have to smoke. Are you kidding me? Wow, look at everything around here. And that is how you feel. And then you go back to the streets. And oh, it's sad. It is so sad. You meet up with somebody on a corner. Even though you tell them you, they know marijuana is legal in D.C. as long as you're not technically selling it. You can donate it. It's around Christmas time, so hey, I can give somebody a present and they can give me a present. don't matter what it is as long as it's a legal thing. They can give me legal money. I can give them legal weed. This is a donation system. The guy knows that. What's he do? Looks at me, thinks I'm some mofo cop, and be like, nah, I can't deal with you. I'm just trying to buy a gram. And I'm like, how, what cop is going to waste their time in D.C. to buy a gram? So people out there really need to know this kind of stuff. And that's why I'm making the channel how I'm making it, to get out this information. And so, you know, people can basically stop being afraid when they get approached by police officers, have, you know, an ounce in their pocket or something like that, and they can just pull it out and, and ask the officer, what he thinks of, and ask him if, uh, you know, if he thinks he could have got something better. Because the officers will know. And they'll be cool like that. So I am really excited to finally get this up. I'm really excited that the medical situation in D.C. has caught up to the point where I can do strain reviews and there be actual strains to review. Because the first year I had my card, I swear to God, I had between Fire OG, Jack Herrera, Master Hash and Sage and Blue Dream. And that was it. And you know, it's like I'm not gonna bitch about it. You know, that was pretty good. I was loving that. But after a year of five, just those five strains, even if they are really good, they'll get kinda old. But I'm gonna bring you all those first because they, you know, are the first things that I had and I want to tell you about them first. Because Capital City Care is also my first love and I will always be going back to them. So, y'all, stoners and stonettes out there, have a great day. Toke up for me, and peace.